Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're looking at another LEGO City 2022 set. This is the Police Mobile Command Truck, set number 60315. It is a 6 plus set with 436 pieces. This set was purchased here in Canada, where it retails for $64.99. It features a pickup truck and fifth wheel style trailer command center, a police ATV, a Crooks tractor getaway vehicle, and four city minifigures, two cops and two robbers. As usual, we'll, as usual, we'll start by looking at each of the builds, followed by the figures, and then conclude with the box and my final thoughts. To start off the builds, we'll look at the pickup truck that pulls the command center. The truck itself is built primarily in a blue coloring with dark bluish gray, white, and the new for 2022 vibrant yellow color as the accent colors. Now, as a fan of the Hawaii 5 TV series, I do have to say that this truck does have a very strong resemblance to the Silverado driven by Commander McGarrett in the fifth season of the revival show. With the way the grill is, uh, especially with the way the grill is done, I do really appreciate appreciate the way they, they did the grill of the uh, truck. It does have a sticker here for the license plate as well as one on top for the police emblem. The sides of the truck do feature the new for 2022 1x4 brick with police printed on it, something that has been very helpful in this wave and will be very helpful in custom creations as well. The back of this truck is fairly plain. I do wish they did something different for this tailgate section as this does look a little strange and out of place in terms of the way they actually did, uh, did the design though most people are probably going to have it hooked up to the trailer for a uh, majority of the time, so it probably isn't that big of a deal. It does have the taillights on the back, though. I do like the rugged look of this truck. It has a very tough design to it. The cabin of the truck does have space for two figures on the inside, a driver and a passenger. There's not a whole lot of, de not a whole lot of detail inside. It does have a steering console, though. There's the back. You could use, also use this for prisoner transport for any extra prisoner if you only had one police officer driving. There is two in the set, so one could also, one could also drive the ATV. It does have mirrors on the side, which use the bracket pieces. Though this issue does have a gap in it, which I do think could have been fixed if they would have done the mirrors a little bit differently, but it's not a, it's not a terribly big deal. There's the underside, which shows how the truck is constructed. It is a very simple build and goes together quite quickly. Though it is quite en quite, quite entertaining to see the way it uh, develops. But the trailer or the box section of the truck is fairly plain. It does have the newer modified plate introduced in the corner garage, which is how the trailer hooks up. I'll show them hooked up in a second. Other than that, there's not a whole, there isn't a whole lot of other than that there's not a whole lot of de whole lot of detail in the on this truck. And yeah. That's it for the pickup truck. Next we'll look at the command trailer. The second build we'll look at is the command trailer itself. Like the truck, it is built mainly in a blue coloring with white, dark bluish gray, and vibrant yellow for accent colors. Despite the set name being the command center or command truck, the only actual command post in this vehicle is this little section right here. It does have opening side doors to access it, however. There is a computer screen on the inside, which is a sticker. It's a little hard to see with the lighting, but as well as a keyboard at the bottom. I do think this is more of a surveillance truck than a command center, in my opinion, considering the way it's done, but the front does have a... Uh, jail cell with pull-off doors to allow the escape play feature. There's not a whole lot of room inside and probably only one of the two criminals can, can be fit inside. The other could be transported in the back of the pickup truck though. There is a door up front for the cops to put the criminals in from the command center. It, there is no window in this door which is kind of unfortunate. It does allow for easy, easy escapes for the criminals by not having one. The top section of the fifth wheel component is done up with a storage for a drone. A, a small 10-piece drone is included. 
it does use these steering wheel pieces for the uh, blades. Overall, pretty simple design. It does work for what it's worth, though. This could also be used for prisoner transport, though I imagine that wouldn't be taken too well by the LEGO City citizens, knowing that. The back of the trailer is used for a ATV storage or ATV transport. It does have two pull-down ramps on the back to allow the quad to be taken off the trailer. There's not a whole lot of detail on the back for the quad. There is these little pegs to hold it in place. But other than that, it's fairly plain. The ramps go up like so. The quad itself does have a steering mechanism in it. So both the front and rear wheels can be steered. It does allow for a nice play feature for the vehicle. It, like the command center, it can only fit one figure on the on the vehicle. Unfortunately, there's a pair of handcuffs as well as a either a light or a uh, handle thing for the cops to use. I'm not sure why they chose this piece here, but it works for what it's worth. There is another sticker on the top for the police badge as well. It does have the vibrant yellow fenders, which I think looks really cool. But yeah, that's it for the police command trailer and the police ATV. Next, we'll have a look at the uh, Crooks getaway tractor. Before I forget, here's the truck and trailer hooked up. It is a fairly long command center, which is not unusual for the city mobile police vehicles. It does look quite cool overall, though. But yeah, that's it for the command center. Next, we'll look at the Crooks tractor. The final vehicle in the set is the Crooks tractor. It is the usual red like all the crook vehicles in the city line. It does have a sticker on the hood with a egg with a criminal's mask on it, which is kind of cool. The overall design is very basic compared to the truck and trailer. It does feature a shooter on the back. So to launch the splattered egg pieces, which is the same piece used in the ice cream truck chase, just now with white with the egg yolk printed on top. There is two extras in, two extra included in the set. By pressing this lever on the back, there's a little white thing in the top. It does launch it out. Like so. I'll do a slow motion one at the end to show how it, how it launches. But yeah, overall it's a cool looking smaller vehicle. It feels a little out of place in the overall uh, set, but yeah, that's it for the criminal's tractor. Next we'll look at the figures. There is four minifigures in the set, with three being named. Grace Goodhart, Duke Detain, and Snake Rattler are all based off the LEGO City Adventures TV series. Duke Detain has remained unchanged since his 2019 introduction, whereas uh, Lieutenant Goodhart is the same as her 2021 introduction. Snake Rattler is the only of the three to feature a new torso printing, and only one in the set to feature new torso printing as well, which has him in a farmer's overalls. Of the four figures, only three have alternate expressions. All four do have back printing, though. The expression for the crook on the left was previously used at, for a police officer in the 2020 police station. It's a little weird seeing, the, seeing it used on a crook now. Duke, Duke Detain's facial expression is the same as his uh, regular version. Same for Lieutenant Goodhart. Snake Rattler does not have an alternate expression. He does have back on his torso, though. I do like the uh, back on uh, Goodhart and Rattler the most. I do appreciate they do have a now more female-oriented uh, prisoner torso, though. And yeah, that's it for the minifigures. Next, we'll have a look at the box. The box art for this set is the typical $70 box size. Like the usual LEGO City sets, it features the city branding on the left-hand side with the set's information below it. It is a 6-plus set with 436 pieces. It does have also has the set name and number, Police Mobile Command Truck, 60315. On the right-hand side, we have the egg launcher icon up top. On the bottom right-hand corner is the call-outs for the named characters, Snake Rattler, Duke Detain, and Grace E. Goodhart. On the front of the box, we have the set in action, which shows all the feature of the set. The top of the box has the characters showing what figures are included in the set. On the right hand side we have the figure uh, actual size icon which shows Duke Detain. He does have a hairpiece in the set, I just forgot to show it. There's the side of the box. And there's the back. There, on the back of the box there's some more snapshots of the set as well as one of the truck and trailer in action. On the top 
top of the box is a LEGO City TV series advertisement, which shows that this is from the TV series. And yeah, that's it for the box art for the set. Next we'll, uh, next we'll talk about my final thoughts. Overall, I'd say this is a pretty good city set in my opinion. I do like the pickup truck the most, which is the main reason for buying this set for me. The trailer is okay. I do think the command post could have been a little bit bigger as it is a command center, which is something that is, should be a little bit more than just a small room in my opinion. The police ATV is cool. I do like the steering ability as it adds a little, adds a little more play feature to the set. The Crooks tractor, though, feels really out of place, in my opinion. Perhaps a different vehicle, like a second, a second ATV or Snake Rattler's uh, dirt bike could have been used here instead. But yeah, that's it for my, for my review of the Police Mobile Command Truck. Let me know your thoughts on the set in the comments below. Uh, thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.